hello guys yeah kindly check this out we have content one two three four five six and seven you can see guys the layout is now check the mobile version and see guys it's also working so that is that guys without wasting my time let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two photos in our SLC folder called first one asset now call the second one components Now let's take the first one assets now this way we have no images or spinners in this application so we'll leave it blank move to the next one components company let's create a file and call its main page okay now inside that we see array fce instead of ordinary div let's give it we add a fragment so inside that we have a section a div with a beta to say hello let's link this main page to the app.js to view on the screen so here we call main page now let's import main page good main page has been imported now let's check our screen figure hello on the screen good you can see guys we got hello on the screen means we're ready to go now let's mobile first okay good now let's close this now we got hello on the screen what do we do we need all the components we need to get all our components okay so let's take them one after the other so begin from component one create a file and call it component one content one dot one dot js refce good content one is ready likewise let's do for two three four five six seven good. and the last one content seven dot js refce Okay, so that is that we have our contents ready now what do we do with our contents now what well, we need to bring all the contents to the main page okay we bring all the contents to the main page so what we're gonna do is the section then we have the div okay so let's take the hello out and create the first content we create another div inside that then we say content one sorry let's call it and say content one yeah so content one is ready so we're going to do likewise for all of them bring all of them here so okay, our contents are ready now we need to import them so let's do that so over here we import content one two three four five six seven so that is that let's run it and see good no complaint yeah we can see guys our contents are ready and what we do, do we do with these contents let's create a layout for them so their mother div here you can see guys their mother div we need to give it a class name and call it layout so let's say class name layout now let's bring this layout to the css so we say dot layout dot layout now what do we do over here okay let's give it width and height then let's say so now we say display grid then let's say there grid template columns we say 100% because it's what mobile screen okay mobile screen so now let's take the uh, grid templates rules that's the one that we're going to change so with that I want us to do it on making bigger yeah. let's do it 2fr 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 then a uh, 6fr then 2fr okay so that is that for the template rules Okay, so finally the great template areas let's give you content one two three four five six so the same thing so we now we need to create create class names for all this uh content one two three four five six okay now so that we need to cl the class name let's go to the main page over here and then create the class name since we have so this one is going to be content one so this uh, class name here is going to be content one Good. 
so that is that so you can just copy this and we'll give them to five and seven that is that so the class name is ready so now let's go to the css then create the same class name for them okay. so over here with content one we can say give us grid area content one then background color okay so let's check that out you can see guys uh, this thing is ready now I'll, I'll prefer this content one to be in the center of the page okay uh, so let's create a CSS tool for that I will call it uh, centered okay so let's see over here we say center yeah. inside that we say say display flex justify content center and align item center now let's add this centered class to the content one uh, class so over here we say center okay. you can see guys let's go into the center good so that is that let's do for the others too so we'll go back to the css then content one we'll create another we create a class name and then give grid area for content two yeah. so that is that guys we just did it for all content two give it grid area content two content three the same thing content four grid area content four Content six, give it good air as well. Likewise, that is that guys. So uh, this is ready. Now let the center to let's go copy and give it to them. So the center class we give everyone the center class. And the last one, good. So that is that center class two is ready. So that is that guys. The mobile version is ready. Now we need to do the the medium screen version okay so to do that let's go back to css and call the uh, media query okay. so over here we say at media only screen and mean width is 768 pixels what do we do change the layout okay. so inside that okay. so over here we say display grid then our uh, columns we need we need uh, we need to divide uh, the page into four equal parts okay grid template columns four then one fraction okay so that is that what next yeah now when we check our rules to realize that the rules is one two three four so we need four rules okay so we can give it some uh, fractions okay the columns one two three four we've done it so the rows is now one two three four okay so let's do that too and give it some fractions okay so we say good so the rows we say two fr three fr six fr and 1.5 fr good so now we need to arrange it the way we want it with the template areas okay so with the template area we say what content one should take all the four columns content two takes one uh, three four seven seven take the sides then six six takes the other button okay so that is that let's check it out you can see guys our layout is ready so that is the power of great temporary plate areas i really like it so that is that guys i think we're done please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one we say peace